schedule a occupation in this video i am going to talk about schedule a type of occupation and why it's important for an immigrant to consider schedule a uh, occupation for employment based green card why is it important it is, it is so important because um the labor certification is pretty much waived. So what's going to happen is if you are inside of the United States, you are just going to fill out the labor certification because it's pre-approved. The Department of Labor has already uh, classified those Schedule A occupations such as that they are already qualified in terms of proving to the government that uh l there's lack of labor okay so they already qualify so what's going to happen is again you're going to file the uh labor certification form combined with the i-140 application and send it to uscis as and and of course you can uh, premium processing uh, especially if you're filing under eb3 or eb2 category you can premium processing and you can also, um, if you are outside of the United States, you can again pre-file the uh, labor certification form with the form I-129. So the question becomes, what are those Schedule A type of occupations? We have group one, physical therapist, professional nurses. And this one really under EB3, right? it's going to work why because uh physical therapists most of the time they're going to be qualified as skilled workers they have two years of training or experience if they have two years of training or experience or under professional if they have uh, a u.s bachelor degree or an equivalent of a u.s bachelor degree um especially uh, professional nurses, they usually have a bachelor degree, right, in science. Um, then we have group two. Group two, uh, group two, sorry, are immigrants of exceptional ability, okay, in science or art, including college professors. And those two can qualify under EB3 category or EB2 category um, depending on really what type of degree they have and what type of uh, exceptional skills they have right and the good news about this right the good news about those schedule a occupation as i said before labor certification is not uh it's already pre approve so the the employer does not have to go through labor certification um, a lot of people a lot of immigrants the sometimes they have hard time convincing the employer to go through labor certification because there's a lot of things you have to prove you have to prove that there, there are not we do not have enough qualified workers in the united states we try to advertise we couldn't find somebody qualified to take the position. That's why we want to hire a foreign worker. But in terms of uh, Schedule A type of occupations, you don't have to, sh to show all that because according to the government, it's already approved. It has already been established that those type of occupations lack labor. Okay, lack labor, like they are still looking for workers. So, and uh, I, I always like to tell uh, immigrants, when, especially students, when they're choosing their major uh, and if they have, uh, let's say, um, the intention to actually work in the United States, those are the things you can consider, right? And STEAM degree as well. Those are the things you can consider. So if you need a consultation with me, you should... Uh, schedule it by using the consultation link in the description box and the reason that you want to schedule a consultation is because we want to assess your case uh, provide you with the advice uh, more often people will call um, and when you ask them to pay for consultation 
uh, they sound surprised. So I charge for consultation. I always say that I charge for consultation 175. Um, I mean, YouTube, it's a free resource, but if you need to talk about your case, you're going to have to pay for consultation. Okay. So anything, and if you have any additional comment, you can post it in the comment section uh, and please share with your friends. It might help somebody. Thank you.